This program is brought to you by Blue Band Sports. Blue Band Sports are committed to promoting sports, particularly motorsports, in India, including six rounds of the Blue Band Indian National Rally Championship across the country, from the south to the northeast. As Blue Band Sports continue their mission to unearth talent from rural India and turn them into world champions for the next generation through their Talent Haunts program. to Blue Band FMSEI Indian National Rally Championship 2023. We are in Arunachal Pradesh, Itanaga for round two. The cars are raring to go and we are carrying forward the legacy of rallying in India. Welcome to the second round of the Blue Band Indian National Rally Championship. And we've had uh, this wonderful city of Itanagar uh, to be a part of our, uh, our caravan and we have promised a monsoon rally, a wet rally, tarmac stages, super fast, which is uh, hill sections, up and down, and to top it all, we have a super special stage section. So everyone else is looking forward, and of course, there is also uh, like a couple of stages that are going to run in the night. So all in all, it actually uh, culminates to uh, uh, give you something, edge of the seat uh, thriller, and. I think the best is gonna win, so good luck to everyone. Everyone quite busy with scrutiny cars getting prepped up for the final action. The drivers are excited and so are we. We managed to catch up with a few of them and this is what they had to say. We are here at Rally of uh, Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, it's a tarmac event, completely a new setup uh, with the tarmac springs and uh, go much more harder on the uh, suspension setup. Tarmac tires, of course, MRF's got the best of the tarmac tires. I'm looking forward for the event. We did the recce today and yesterday. Fantastic stages, very, very fast and uh, flowing. Absolutely perfect for uh, a tarmac rally, I should say. We've uh, thoroughly enjoyed this rally in the past because it's been organized really well and we've got a lot of support from the government, which makes it a lot more easier and uh, maximize you know, our uh, our fun time here driving on these beautiful and amazing um, uh, you know, uh, tarmac roads which are super high speed and high, very highly technical. This year obviously is going to be far more difficult and challenging because we can see a lot of rain uh, uh, during the week so it's going to be uh, a very wet uh, and tricky tarmac rally. Natural has always been uh, a challenge and uh, the rains uh, this year are certainly going to make it uh, even more challenging for us, uh, for sure all the competitors as well and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge actually and uh, we have stages in uh, zero, we have stages uh, here uh, between Holongi and Chimpu as well which we've done in the past so yeah it's going to be a tough rally. 
Arunachal has been a good rally for me in the past. I won it, uh, won it as well. So looking forward to having a drive. Obviously, not having driven on tarmac, we'll have to take it at one step at a time. But car feels good, and hopefully we'll have a good rally. And uh, there's the equation of rain as well. So let's see how it how it turns out. My first rally was here in Arunachal, so I'm very happy to be here back again. And with my uh, new co-driver, Trisha Longer. And uh, it's, it's always fun, Arunachal tarmac stages. And uh, stages are really amazing. We finish our recce and uh, I think it's a good test for uh, all of us in terms of skills, machine and tyres. So um, we are really looking forward to it. I have been to Arunachal many times and uh, we see uh, quite, a, quite a many improvements happening in the infra infrastructure. The weather is nice, it, though it's raining, it's, which is not good for the rally, but uh, we're enjoying the, enjoying the weather. And we, but we hope that it does not rain for the next two days. Uh, as far as the stages are concerned, uh, quite fast. Uh, so we hope to have uh, quite, quite fun in the next few days of the rallying. It's my first time on tarmac. In fact, it's my uh, debut season, uh, second rally altogether. Uh, the team speed and snap racing working re has been working really, really hard to get the cars all prepped up for both the days. Uh, and surely both the days uh, have got uh, different stages and uh, uh, really interesting uh, and tricky at the same time. Yeah, really excited for the upcoming rally. We are here at uh, the second round of the INRC in Itanagar, Arunachal Pradesh. It uh, looks like uh, we're going to have a full wet rally, but uh, we'll see how it goes. The roads are very, very nice and uh, fast flowing, unlike uh, any of the other rallies in the season this year. So, looking forward to it. Well, uh, you know, it's a big uh, thing for us coming here uh, for the Rally of Arunachal and we're looking forward for the three-day adventure here. Uh, the stages are pretty fast. Uh, you know, the vital role that plays here is the weather conditions. If it rains, then the main uh, uh, thing that has to be looked into is your tyre choice. So depending upon the tyre choice that you have, so the stages, you know, you can plan accordingly. It's a lovely stages. After a long back, I'm getting into cars. The last time I navigated for NRC was in 2015. And I think I'm sitting with a faster driver and a faster car. Let's see how it goes. Uh, we are very excited to be here. This is the only tarmac rally. And uh, like I say, uh, all the road racers can come here and test their skills. And really know where you stand. So drive safe, enjoy the fast tarmac rally, and uh, have a great blast. Blue Band FMSCI Indian National Rally Championship 2023, the Rally of Arunachal Pradesh, had a massive support from the government of Arunachal Pradesh. Sports and Youth Affairs Minister Mama Natung flagged off the Rally of Arunachal 2023. All rally drivers were itching to have a go. We asked them, would they be going on to slicks if the weather changes? Well, they have to adapt with passing weather. We caught up with the minister and he was very, very excited to have the rally of Arunachal Pradesh 2023. Team Arunachal ke sarkar, Mukhyamantri Pema sports event ko aage karenge. Pura hai ki jo president, uh, Motor Sports Arunachal ne acha se or, acha dekhenge aur acha koi kami nahi hoga. This is मेरा तरफ से बहुत बहुत सुकमने और बहुत बहुत बधाई. Nothing can beat the festivities of culture, fun, and all the excitement that has been brought by the wonderful reception that we've got from the wonderful state of Arunachal Pradesh. And that's about the time we had for the festivities, cause it was time to burn some rubber. Arunachal Pradesh Rally 2023 brought a lot of twists and turns. Stay with us, we'll be back after this commercial break. Blue Band Sports are committed to promoting sports, particularly motorsports, in India, including six rounds of the Blue Band Indian National Rally Championship across the country, from the south to the northeast. 
as Blue Band Sports continue their mission to unearth talent from rural India and turn them into world champions for the next generation through their Talent Haunts program. Blue Band Sports are committed to promoting sports, particularly motorsports, in India, including six rounds of the Blue Band Indian National Rally Championship across the country, from the south to the northeast. As Blue Band Sports continue their mission to unearth talent from rural India and turn them into world champions for the next generation through their Talent Haunts program. I recommend MRF ZLX for sheer comfort and long life. MRF ZLX, you can bet on it. Blue Band Sports are committed to promoting sports, particularly motorsports, in India, including six rounds of the Blue Band Indian National Rally Championship across the country, from the south to the northeast. as Blue Band Sports continue their mission to unearth talent from rural India and turn them into world champions for the next generation through their Talent Haunts program. Welcome back to Blue Band FMSI Indian National Rally Championship 2023. The rally of Arunachal Pradesh continues. Leg 1 commences shortly as two special stages which will run in Chimpu and Hulangi and the two special stages which will run under the night sky. Arjun Rao won round 1. Gaurav Gill is back for round 2. We also have Amit Rajit Ghosh who can really put the pressure on. He had won Arunachal Pradesh before. We have multiple classes. INRC, INRC 2, INRC 3, INRC 4, the Gypsy class, the Junior Indian National Rally Championship and the Women's class. Let's have a look. This is Chimpu. Now we are going downhill. 16.05 kilometers. Now, the best part is there is a very, very tight left hander which is almost like a climb. In Hulangi, we decide to go uphill, and towards the end, you really need all the power you can generate to finish that stage. Let's quickly look at how the points table look like. The fight for the second and fifth, too close to call. With Arur Arjun Rao on top of the table with 40 points. Daira Sharoff from Cherinath Sporting on 27. Shishang on 23. This is a beautiful city. And we're ready for the stage of the INRC1 Leg 1 Special Stage 1 and 2. Representing Aka Motorsports, it was Karna Kadur and Kumar Ramaswamy who set the pace much earlier. It is a downhill stage as the water gets displaced under that car. It's a definite photographer's delight as we are seeing some breathtaking visuals from the rally of Arunachal Pradesh. it became quite difficult to drive as the rain was constantly pouring on the tarmac. Aditya Thakur was able to find that out along with his co-driver Virendra Kashyap from Art Motorsports. Now as he got past that bridge, guess who's behind him? The danger man Gaurav Gill, three-time APRC champion who always goes over the limit. Hence we also call him the Drift Master. He really put on a show and he was already up into much speed. He set the pace much earlier on, really calling the shots that he is the man to beat in these conditions. Rahul Kantaraj, comp number 8, decided to take a different strategy, was looking for more of the dry part of the tarmac. During the Reiki, they actually identified the places where they can identify grip. 
Now, moving on, we're going to show you something very, very exciting. The driver's eye view of Arjun Rao's car. Here is instruction coming forward. 54 right. And then you got to make sure that you're turning in and you're turning out. Fast in, fast out, or slow in, fast out has to be perfect. Mind you, got to look over the grips. This is a very tricky right hander. And he belted it. Keep left, bro, right hand. Along with him, the rest of the pack try to keep up. But this man, Amit Rajit Ghosh, has won Arnachal round before. So he knows the terrain. There was some breathtaking drive that he managed to do along the water puddles, along the short bridges that come forward. Especially this one. As the water gets this place, we can possibly show you that in multiple replays. Dean Maskerin has encountered quite a lot of wobble and he was searching for grip. He did well though to make sure he was under the top five. Amit Rajit Ghosh topped leg one with Gaurav Gill at number two and Arur Arjun Rao. So we caught up with Mr. Ghosh to check in on the conditions. The conditions are quite tough because of the rain and then the mud. Obviously this is a landslide area and there's a lot of silt on the road. But um, it's okay, we've finished two stages. We have some issues with the brakes that we need to look at. But uh, okay, we are here. I think such a tough rally, it's always nice to just come back to service and take it one stage at a time. We'll keep pushing, let's see what happens at the end. Next up in INRC2, leg one, special stage one and two. It was time for Maninder Singh Prince to take on the terrain. He really encountered, as usual, quite a difficult, slippery terrain with the car really trying to come to grips with the tarmac. Fabi Demer, car number 88, along with his co-driver Sanat from Chetty Nath Sporting, had to play quite a lot of gamble with the changing conditions. As the weather played cat and mouse, it really became difficult for even Chetan Shivaram, who's got multiple years of experience under his belt, to try and come to grips. Suhim Kabir Khan, number 75, along with Jeeva from Ami Fuel Rally, adopted a similar strategy. They would have wanted a little more power towards the end of the stage to finish the stage on a strong note. And this is what we love, the driver's eye view. How does Common number 69 perform? Well, it was a very, very different ride for him. Now, if you look at the tarmac right now, it is dry. And just behind the hills that are seen there, you'll find there's a healthy drizzle. Chetty Nath Sporting, represented by Arur Vikram Rao along with Somia, really found the going quite tough and evolving. Aka Motorsports car number 22, Philippus Mathai along with Vivius Murthy had a lot of weave going through multiple side puddles, water puddles and a little bit of a changing terrain. As we see car number 22 now closing in towards the finish line. Dr. Bikku Babu, yes we have a doctor on wheels too. Uh, he's an experienced rally racer. And he really had a chance, a big, big fight around to finish into the top three. Combat number 45, Sahil Khanna, in the meantime, kept it earnest, kept it tight, knew he really had to upset the top three. Jacob KJ almost weaving that car on the left and the right, but somehow managed to control it. He really found out the grip was always going to be a bigger issue. As he tried to complete the stage, he was just outside the top three. Aman Mehmer, the company number two, really pulled an all stop, a lot of effort, a lot of hard work towards the finishing of the stages. But then it was Charin Chandra and company number 14 who had a quite a smooth drive only for the conditions to change. It was towards the end he actually encountered heavy rainfall. Suhaim Kabir in the meantime after leg one topped the charts with Chetan Chivaram and Filippos Mathai at number three. Dr. Bikku Babu just outside the top three. Suhaim had this to say. It was raining and I like the uh, wet terrain. So some uh, category I am leading now. And also the first stage we did overall third. It's pretty well. We'll see how it goes. 
So let's quickly move into the INRC3. This is up to 2050 cc. And we are looking at copy number 99, that is Chandan Manchagauda on a polo, really had a very smooth start initially. It was Vishak B who really put in the pressure early on because he set in the space, but then was not able to maintain it all the way through. Breathtaking view of comp number 15, Darius Shroff and his red car. The conditions are changing with every half a kilometer. You have dry tarmac and then all of a sudden the rain hits you on your windshield. Copy number 27, Jason Saldana found the going tough initially. Till then he was able to pick up pace towards the end of the stage. Representing Arka Motorsports, Shishang Jamwal had a fabulous start and he kind of maintained it most of the stage. And it was this start, despite heavy rains coming and hitting his windshield much later, he was still able to come on top. Copy number 20, Lano Sen really was up against a very tall order. But having known the conditions, he was using that to his advantage. Towards the end, he was just about able to match even the leaders. And later on, it was Girish Nair who really worked hard to try and put up some earlier pace. He was in the mix till the timings dropped towards the end. Well, it was a quite a mixed bag for Girish Nair, copy number 33. Copy number 31 got into the mix, Rupendra Shilran. He really had to work hard initially into the starts, but then the conditions became a little bit better. Was he able to capitalize towards the end? We will find that out at the end of the stage. Uday Sudhir Pilani was making sure that he kept it earnest towards the end. He needed to be in the mix as quickly as possible. Weather was changing and everyone was only talking about how the weather could be so unpredictable. Himan Chorara, company number 23, when he got his car out on the stage, he felt a little underpowered. He initially matched times with 5th and the 6th position. Zhao Singpo, company number 38, carried a massive expectations of the home crowd. He did put in a credible performance. So this is the way the results look like after leg one. Sishang Jamwal number one, Jehan Singh Gill number two, Arna Pratap Singh three. Everyone is talking about the weather. Due to this uh, weather, it was a little tricky. You have to be a little uh, understand the corner before going through any action. And yes, and still the weather is the same. So let's see what happens. So we're going down to the INRC four leg one special stage one and two. This is only for the Honda City VTEC, the Maruti S-Team and the Maruti Baleno. Multiple fans of the Balenos and the Hondas in Arunachal Pradesh and they got to see their favourite cars on this wonderful special stage. Initially, we had Jehan Singh Hill who really set in the pace. Vivek tried to keep up much initially but then it was Jehan Singh Gill who possibly had the last laugh. Vivek had a very, very good, strong middle sector. In fact, even made up time up to three seconds. Arun Mohan, in the meantime, copy number 46, had a quite a little bit of a tough ride towards the middle part of the sector too. Uh, the start was though good and the finishing also strong. But the time lost initially could not match him into the top five. The rally of Arnachal Pradesh saw Hage Cheda, comp number 48, making sure that he stayed into the mix. In fact, there was very little risk that he had taken. He had already made up his mind that he's going to go all out and it really paid off towards the end. As he managed to finish in the top five, Abin Rai, Vivek and Phoebe, the top three with Arun Mohan finishing at number five. Let's move on to the renegade stuff. This is the INRC Gypsy. When I say renegade, it's a joy to see the Gypsy taking on the terrain. Samaratia, the common number 40, set the pace earlier on and he was easily able to take that Gypsy on this right-hander sweeper with so much of control. Watch the Gypsy overtake the car on your right and it is able to show off its ground clearance. Copy number 40 really set the pace for this wonderful special stage. 
combat number 39, Amanpreet Aluwalia, who really also threw the hammer down because he wanted to set in a faster lap too as well. 39, a little bit of weave, absolutely to the limit. It's a joy to see the gypsy back. Sanjay Razdan, combo number 47, in the mix. Combo number 47 did well and tried to keep the pace initially on. Good enough to keep himself in the top five, but then he also had to keep pace with Abindre, who made up time towards the end. Combo number 32, Akash taking on the terrain too. The gypsies have brought in so many memories Forefront of rally as a sport in India. Watch the gypsy of Bajinder Singh Dillon take that right hander curve and very, very quickly displaces the huge water puddle easily. And these were the results as far as the gypsy is concerned for leg one with Samrat number one, Amanpreet number two, Bajinder at number three, with Akash Sundar at number four. Samrat had this to say about grip issues in the field. We did the SS2. Uh, it was raining when we started and in between the stage it was kind of dry and uh, it was very slippery and most of the drivers are driving slick tyres so they are having some issue with their grip levels. So right now for us, uh, we are leading in the category FMSCI Gypsy Cup. We're starting off with the INRC ladies, leg one, special stage one and two. It was compet number 18, Pragadi Goro, who set the pace initially. Did well to keep it up to a flyer of a start. Can she maintain it all the way through the end of the stage? We will find out as combo number 42 kept it consistent. Nikita Takle knew the terrain can be quite severe with a small mistake. A driver had the challenge, do they go all out, do they take minimum risk or do they just stay consistent all the way through? Nikita chose the latter. As we'd seen combo number 13, Shivani Parmar, very aggressive on the start, took the risk all the way through, but then the challenge of the water puddles, the challenge of changing weather conditions really proved a disadvantage. Little slight drop in times, but would that be good enough to keep her in the top four? Anusha Gulati, who's a Formula 4 racer, now takes the wheel in a rally car. Will she be able to use her experience and bring that racing experience on the rally circuit? We will soon find out. Her start was good, her middle sectors were fine. And towards the end, she was also able to make a quite a lot of lunge towards the finish line. Phoebe, Dal Longroom, can she give something to cheer for the home crowd? Wonderful shot of the car coming into the stage and this is how the results look like. With Anusha Gulati number one, Nikita number two, Shivani number three, Phoebe at number four. Nikita was all smiles after completing the stage. Lovely stages, we are learning a lot. Tarmac is for, uh, it's new for me, I am a newcomer for Tarmac. First time I'm doing Tarmac. But yeah, I learned a lot. So we are seeing like Pins, people are going off the road, even I went off the road, but yeah, I woke up, thank you. We're quickly moving to Junior INRC, leg one, special stage one and two. This is for 2050cc car and the age limit for drivers is 26 years. This is a breeding ground for the next level of rally stars who will be coming out of the rally championship. Arnav Kappa number 26 initially set in a faster lap. He was able to keep with the top six. Further up, Ajay Shankar 36 found out the terrain was really becoming much better to drive because the conditions improved. Thankfully, the rain kept up and the clouds in the background moved away for a little bit. Car number 26, Jahan Singh Gill. Took complete advantage of the situation and the improving weather conditions. And he didn't look back. He ensured that he had the fastest time in each of these sectors and kept at it towards the end. It was difficult for the rest of them to catch up and especially for the one who came just after comp number 26. Arjun Rajiv, comp number 28. Lot of weaving on the sideways, but then still managed to go all the way to the limit. 
Copy number 98 found the going tough and as you can see the weather had changed by the time he got on to this particular sector. And towards the end, it started raining heavily for him. And it was not the kind of luck that he really wanted. In fact, he possibly had the wiper on most of the time. Mohamed Sahil, copy number 21, found familiar situations, which his earlier compatriots found. But then what he could do best was try and pick up some time in the middle sector and more of those isolated stretch. The results look like after leg one, John Singhil number one, Arnavat number two, Mohamed Silent number three. Arnav weighs in on the conditions with us. Very good. Luckily, we didn't find much rain in the second stage and we were anticipating a lot of grip. And was fun. A little bit of downhill and a little bit of uphill. Very technical stage. Had a few scary moments, but we made it back and I'm happy and grateful for that. Let's see how does the day go. We're moving to something special, the super special stage. Kichanagar had a very, very special night to remember at the rally of Arunachal Pradesh. We had two super special stages in the heart of the city, in Itanagar. Each of the folks in the town had lined up to see the rally stars and their amazing looking rally cars. The countdown had already started because this was the time where they could see a duel. Where do you see two cars under the night sky taking on each other side by side? The duel was too good to be true, with each of them putting on a show, just like this wonderful drift out there. The highlight was a 180, 180 turn, just like this one. Everything was cherished all the way to the finish line. The super special stage became a supremely special stage, right under the night sky. And the floodlights all around, everyone in the crowd lapping up the action, everyone enjoying it. And especially this wonderful drift action that you could see, well, with the drift master just going by. It was one of those moments where each of the drivers had a chance to race on street circuit right under the night sky all the way through the finish line. Bright lights, bright color cars, floodlights all around. You couldn't have asked for more. What a special night for Rally of Arunachal Pradesh. Blue Band FMSCI Indian National Rally Championship 2023. There is still a lot more. Don't you go away. Because Blue Band FMSIA Indian National Rally Championship 2023 will be right back. Blue Band Sports are committed to promoting sports, particularly motorsports, in India, including six rounds of the Blue Band Indian National Rally Championship across the country, from the south to the northeast. as Blue Band Sports continue their mission to unearth talent from rural India and turn them into world champions for the next generation through their Talent Haunts program. Blue Band Sports are committed to promoting sports, particularly motorsports, in India, including six rounds of the Blue Band Indian National Rally Championship across the country, from the south to the northeast. As Blue Band Sports continue their mission to unearth talent from rural India and turn them into world champions for the next generation through their Talent Haunts program. Hmm. If you see one, you will buy none other. 
MRF Zappa C1. Longer life tire for scooters. Blue Band Sports are committed to promoting sports, particularly motorsports, in India, including six rounds of the Blue Band Indian National Rally Championship across the country, from the south to the northeast. As Blue Band Sports continue their mission to unearth talent from rural India and turn them into world champions for the next generation through their Talent Haunts program. Welcome back to Blue Band FMSCI Indian National Rally Championship 2023. The action continues as zero stage was cancelled due to inclement weather. So leg two will now have four stages. During leg two, we had Gaurav Gill along with Amitrajit Ghosh calling the shots. Arur Arjun Rao had to play catch up. In the INRC2 category, Dr. Bikku Babu was outside the top four of five. We're also looking at two of those important stages. That is going to be in Chimpu and Hulangi. How does the map look like? Here is one way to look at. In Chimpu, we're going to go downhill. In Hulangi, we'll go up, braking and accelerating at the same time. It's a breathtaking state and the nature will win you over. We're jumping into INRC1 leg 2. Let's say hello to Mr. Ghosh as he goes all out. Mind you, he was really competing very hard along with Gaurav Gill. All the way down, drifting as the water is displaced. And now what a beautiful shot as Amitrit Ghosh just displaces the water as it just wasn't there. He is still going all the way through. And look at that breaking into that turn. No breaking at all. And what a perfect line. Soon after, it was the three-time APRC champion and seven-time national champion Gaurav Gill getting onto the wheels very, very quickly. Much later on, it was also time for Arjun Arur Rao to take that fight. How does Gaurav Gill do that? Turn on the left. He does it well without even a stop. I just love this. Go. We are having a look on Arun right. Arjun Rao's car. The drivers I view as Satish Rajakopal is co-driver shouts what? out instructions one by one. And as we say in motorsports, it's not over till it's over. Gaurav Gill with a seven second lead in leg one had to retire his car because of mechanical issues. Amitrajit Ghosh, although was elated after his performance, had to retire his car as well because he suffered an electrical problem. And moving into the stages as well, Karna Kadur had a very hard outing. The rains came pouring down and in no time, the umbrellas were out. Copa number 12, Dean Mascarinian is really putting on a show. Very cautious in the start. Did well to control the car all the way to the stage. In fact, it was the others, especially Rahul Kantaraj, had multiple close shave just like this one. In fact, the car had oversteer issues. Rahul Kantaraj, combo number 8, did well to limit the damage on the times. As the night sky approached, headlights were on. Combo number 9, Aditya Thakur nailed this tight left-hander. How does it look like in INRC2? Leg 2, we're showing in some actions as Suhim Kabir, comp number 75, putting his hammer down, but trying to get in as much as traction. Chetan Shivaram had a very, very close shave, but it's a fabulous shot where we see the water's been kicked up in the air. It was almost aqua plung into that corner. As we see Dr. Bikku Babu's turn comes in, he is being very cautious as he approaches the left-hander and a quick right-hander, she came. Downshift, get as much power as possible if you're able to get into that turn and you're able to carry that speed. Oh, Philip Hosmathai also had a slight moment, but did so well in order to control it. Well, his wipers on the car was doing a heavy duty work to keep the visibility intact. Changing conditions had a lot of challenges that really made the rally stars think out of the box. Fabid Amir, who also faced a little bit of a bumper issue which almost fell off. 
Absolutely fabulous pictures of the cars of Sahil Khanna, car number 45, as he gets past that tight right hand curve just to bring that car up to speed. Watch the gravel and a big stone try to hit the car, almost creating a wobble. Car number 69, Harkrishan Wadia, powering his Honda all the way through that straight line and taking complete advantage. Cherinath Sporting's Arur Vikram Rao, accompanied by AJ Somia, they had a different story to tell. In fact, it was a little bit of wobble towards the beginning, wobble in the centre, but then when the straight came in, it was hammer time. It can be argued the most competitive class is the INRC2, and Cheran Chandran really found that out in car number 14. He really carried as much straight line speed as possible. Thankfully for him, the weather was better when he drove. Maninder Singh Prince had a mixed bag in terms of the weather conditions but carried this wonderful speed of the turn where you hardly saw any braking there. Jacob moving his car through this water puddle and what a sight that was with the blue car taking on the turf. And then one more time, how does the line come in? This time, absolutely no braking but a little bit of slow on the exit. So then, we're moving on to the INRC3 leg 2. This is up to 2050cc. And Shishang Jamwal, who had had a fair outing in the previous leg, started the proceedings. And things really looked up better for him. But towards the end, they had to switch on the headlights because visibility really became a challenge. Car number 27, Jason Saldana along with Timana, they were trying hard to really pick up the timings that they lost in the previous sectors. Car number 15, Darius Shroff, really had a tough going as well. Himanshu Arora, car number 23, had to take a little bit of a scare of a braking issue much earlier before he get onto the stage. Rupendra Shivaram, well, he had different ideas. He was able to get as much traction into the turns. Lona Sen Pongir, company number 20, had a different story to tell. As the rally stage dipped into the evening, visibility became more challenging. Further up, Vishak B, company number 55, although who enjoyed a fair start much earlier, struggled in the mid-pack again. Visibility was continued for company number 33, Girish Nair, and also the rest of the pack that followed. Comp number 99, Chandan Mechagoda. He does well, but then he may not have as much traction. Uday Sudhir had a lot of drizzle to even confront. How did it look like in INRC4 Leg 2? Let's have a look. Abhin Rai, along with his co driver Uday Kumar, came out all guns blazing because they knew if they didn't make the best of the moment, the conditions are going to get worsened. The conditions were in the same for Vivek because he knew he had to navigate quite the night sky all around each turn. You can see him taking a wider turn just out of caution. As we see Phoebe Dal Nongrum, combat number 37, all the way down from Shillong, really making a sustainable impact. Cautious line because you don't want it to risk too much. INRC Gypsy Leg 2 and we've got a special footage from car number 40, Samrat Yadav along with Arvind. You can see Arvind using his torchlight to shout out instructions. This has been a very, very competitive, very challenging drive for Samrat and they've kept it on top all the way through. Following suit very closely was comp number 39, Amanpreet Aluwalia. How did they perform? We will have a look at the results. The Gypsy is a beauty to behold. INRC ladies leg 2 and we already seeing Anushya Gulati using all her experience from racing to take a very very wide line and try and make up some time as she approaches the further stages. Nice lines, but a little slow off the block on the exit. Car number 42, Ami Field Racing, Nikita Takale along with Venu Ramesh. Much experienced with the stage now, should be looking for a strong finish in the points table. 
Shivani Parma stayed cautious. She didn't want to risk too much because she had the chance to be on the podium. Damage limitations is a very important word in motorsports. Junior Indian National Rally Championship Leg 2 is an exciting class and we have an exciting talent in car number 26, John Singhil. Can he once again put an exciting time as he much he did so in Leg 1? This is Leg 2 of the Junior Indian National Rally Championship. Arnav Pratap Singh, car number 16, struggling a little bit on the turn there but then carries so much speed on the right-hander. How is he going to come around through? He's doing it well in so far on the chicken. Breaks as late as possible. Wonderful exit. As we look at Mohamed Sahil, combo number 21. He is preparing himself as he's approaching the straight. He's got to be very careful. He's got to make sure that doesn't carry too much speed into that corner. He does exactly that. And he overcooks that corner. As we now see Ajay Shankar, combo number 36. He would have watched a couple of his compatriots go into that turn. He would love to make sure that he doesn't repeat that mistake. You learn from other people's mistake, and Ajay has done exactly that. So then, Aditya Koski comes onto the track, and he is measuring up the conditions as well. Arjun Rajiv has a very competitive outing. Let's quickly jump into the overall results as car number 19, Arur Arjun Rao takes it. And coming in at number 2, it is Shishank Jamal. Coming in at number 3, Dr. Biku Babu. I think this is the most toughest rally I've driven in terms of tarmac, I should say, because the weather was extreme. It was raining, it was pouring, the surface was extremely slippery and uh, we had very good tyres to, to go along the entire stages. Uh, very, very happy for the entire team. Uh, big thanks to Satish. Fantastic job done again. I'm overwhelmed actually. Thank you so much. Blue Band FMSCI Indian National Rally Championship 2023. The rally of Arnachal Pradesh has been mesmerizing. It's brought out the best of the rally drivers. It's brought out the best of the cars. It's brought out the best of the competitive teams. And each of them I've gone back with the wonderful memories to come back again next year. So then Satish Rajagopal taking in the applause and Arjun Aru Rao the winner. Satish Rajagopal, take a bow for all the hard work that you guys have put in. INRC2, Dr. Biku Babu and Milin George, number one, Philippus Mathai and Morty PVS, number two, Chetan Shivram and Shiv Prakash at number three. It was a wet ride uh, downhill on the uh, Chimpu stage. Uh, uphill was more dry. Uh, well, uh, we are just doing okay, not to my satisfaction. Uh, the stages are fantastic to drive, but uh, yeah, I'm not doing my best. Coming in at number three is Chetan Shivarami Shiva Prakash from Snap Racing. And finishing at number two was a very credible drive by Philippos Mathai and PV Srinivasan Murthy from Arka Motorsports. Dr. Biku Babu and Milan George from Chetinath Sporting taking in the trophy as well. Glittering backdrop at the Valley of Arnachal Pradesh. Itanagar has been more than a memory. Moving along with the INRC 3 results, Shashank car number 4, number 1, Arna Pratap Singh car number 16, 2, Jehan Singh car number 26, 3. It was so unpredictable rally, still we are able to manage our position. And yes, we uh, finished first in our category, INRC 3. Uh, and yes, these two days was uh, really hard, but somehow we are able to manage that. We learned a lot of new things. Uh, and yes, hoping for the best for the future rallies. Jan Singh Gill with Suraj Kesha Prashad from Snap Racing finishing at number 3. Arna Pratap Singh along with Arjun from Ami Field Racing finishing at number 2. The winner takes it all as we had Sishang Jamal along with his teammate Asim Sharma from Arka Motorsports taking in a beautiful trophy. Moving on to INRC 4 overall. Abhin Rai, number 1, Ruthin Parna Vivek, number 2, Phoebe Nongrum at number 3. The different experience, the stages were super fast, Cor uh, corners were amazing, tight corners, slushy, slippery too. So we had a nice time and it was an amazing experience. I would like to thank uh, my navigator Uday Kumar 
एंड माय ट्यूनर अमजद पाशा फ्रॉम आइडियल रेसिंग and the prize distribution continues as phoebe nongram along with dr dinesh go and pick up the trophy for inrc4 representing amifield racing vivek along with sanjay agarwal from snap racing taking in the second further up the winners are been dry along with uday kumar आरसी जिप्सी ओवरऑल कार नंबर 14 नंबर 1 सम्राट यादव कार नंबर 39 अमन प्रीत वालिया नंबर 2 बजेंद्र सिंह ढिल्लन कार नंबर 43 3 द क्राउड वाज फिनोमेनल इफ यू वुड हैव सीन द नाइट स्टेज इट वाज आउट ऑफ आउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कॉन्टेक्स्ट ओनली वी थॉट लाइक ओके वी आर गोइंग फॉर एन अंडरग्राउंड ट्रैक एसएसएस बट व्हेंस वी वेंट देयर एंड रीच देयर व्हाट वी सो वाज टोटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द रैली गेम इट वाज समथिंग लाइक stadium arena or something everybody came out and everybody cheered for us so i would like to thank all the people from itanagar bajender singh dilan along with gautam picking up the trophies for finishing third in the gypsy challenge finishing second is amanpreet aluwalia along with amber udasi and the winner samrat yadav and arvind Direndra from Ami Field Rally. It's a special moment for them in the Gypsy INRC Challenge. Junior International Rally Championship overall: Arna Pratap Singh, car number sixteen, number one; John Singh Gill, car number twenty-six at two; Mohammad Sal, car number twenty-one at three. It was a wonderful event. We had a lot of changes in the track conditions, from being wet to be, being extremely slippery. Had aqua planing all over. There was mud on the road, but luckily we made it out and we gave a good fight. We were all fighting within 10 seconds. It, uh, there was Jahan, there was Shishang, and then there was me. But in the end, I, I was the winner, and we had a lot of fun. Tough competition, tough rally, but a wonderful event in the end. Thank you. and the prizes are ready to be given to our winners they are the rising stars coming at number 3 mohammed zahid and eldo chako coming at number 2 john singh gill along with suraj keshav from snap racing and then the winner is always down to arvind pratap singh along with arjun ssb from ami field rally Moving on to INRC ladies overall Anushya Gulati ka number 24 winner ka number 30 Shivani Parma number 2 Nikita Takale ka number 42 at 3 We won the women's round for the rally of Arunachal couldn't have done it without Arjun who is an absolutely phenomenal co-driver he he's just backed me throughout when things got tough when I needed someone to look uh, look to for advice or anything and the prizes are being given starting down with Nikita Takale and Venu Ramesh from Ami Field Rally Shivani Parmar Dr Vani Parmar from Chettinad Sporting collecting the trophies the Parmar family and the winner Anusha Gulati and Arjun Dinendra from Dark Dawn Rally Blue Band FMSI Indian National Rally Championship 2023 at the end of round 2 the rally of Arunachal Pradesh this is how the points table looks like Arjun Rao with 77 points and Shashank Jamal with 48 points at number 2 Thank you all first of all the competitors without whom there is no event and the government of Arunachal Pradesh who are always supporting innovative and visionary sports like rallying motor sports The rally of Arunachal will be a memory for just the 10,000, 10,000 youth who witnessed motorsports to the doorstep of the people. It's time to wrap up the rally of Arunachal. Have a good stay for the next 24 hours. Enjoy yourself. God bless you all. Thank you. We have come to the end of an uh, exciting uh, uh, second round of the uh, Blue Band National uh, Rally Championship. and it was more exciting more thrilling uh, than uh, forecasted i hope uh, all of the drivers uh, have actually evinced that and we are pretty happy uh, uh, to have given a really lovely event thank you 
Blue Band FMSI Indian National Rally Championship 2023. The Rally of Arunachal Pradesh has been a stupendous success. I hope you've enjoyed the coverage as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Till the next time, take care. Blue Band Sports are committed to promoting sports, particularly motorsports, in India, including six rounds of the Blue Band Indian National Rally Championship across the country, from the south to the northeast. As Blue Band Sports continue their mission to unearth talent from rural India and turn them into world champions for the next generation through their Talent Haunts program. I recommend MRF ZLX for sheer comfort and long life. MRF ZLX, you can bet on it. Blue Band Sports are committed to promoting sports, particularly motorsports, in India, including six rounds of the Blue Band Indian National Rally Championship across the country, from the south to the northeast. as Blue Band Sports continue their mission to unearth talent from rural India and turn them into world champions for the next generation through their Talent Haunts program. This program was brought to you by Blue Band Sports.